Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Coil Quickcard, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where I've got some serious stuff to do today. But first, there's something I want to show. Because I did something very interesting. I fully upgraded my diving armor. Well, not fully, but... Yes! I just collided straight with the earth and nothing happened. If you equip the full dive armor and it is... Well, I didn't actually test it at, level one, at the first level of upgrade, but at level two, if you wear the whole set, you are immune to falling damage. Yeah. Just immune. No negative effect from falling whatsoever. Next task. I had an idea. So, it was impossible to get into the Lost Woods from the surface. It was impossible to get into the Lost Woods from the air. But, I figured, why not try underground? And I think I have actually found a way into the heart of the forest. This is very exciting. Oh, and I don't know if you spotted it on the uh, screen, but yeah, I have the entire set of Fierce Deity armor, and even the Fierce Deity sword is in this game. That is so, so cool. Uh, but anyway, for right now, the, uh, yeah, the glide set is, like, the best that I have for defense. Well, I guess these pants are a little stronger. Uh, hold on. I think it was actually this light route I was supposed to be at. Um, yeah, I, I did a fair amount of farming in between episodes. Uh, I have now done 62 shrines. Uh, I completed a challenge back on the Great Sky Island where you had to fly around and light three bonfires all around the islands within 12 in-game hours without ever touching the ground. Literally, you just had to fly into waterfalls with the Zora armor to constantly gain air. It was a really cool challenge. Anyway, this platform right here is one of the few places in the depths low enough to ascend. And near as I can tell, it is right in the center of the forest. So I am fairly confident that this is actually going to take me somewhere traversable. Please work. It did work. <laughs> it worked! Hell, oh no, he's got crap on him, it looks like. Oh no. Uh, I don't want to do a shrine right now because I have a lot I want to get done on this episode. Musa no Kier. But, I mean, if it's a short one, if it's just like a, like a proving ground or a blessing, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing that real quick. That wouldn't be so bad. Ah, damn. Ankle brace is being a problem. Okay, yeah, that's more of a proper puzzle shrine. I'm, I'll just save that for in-between episodes. If, if I had to show off every uh, 
every non-main episode thing I did in this game, this series would already be over 40 episodes long. And I'd rather not do that. Hmm. You okay? They don't really look okay. Yeah, it's like they're all just frozen. Okay. Uh, let's get out my strong weapons. Hello? Oh. The Deku Tree Chasm. Never know exactly how deep these will be, so let's just hit the ground at full speed. Ooh, yeah, this looks like a boss area! Oh god, it's the hands. Okay. Well. I am significantly less scared of you than I once was. Okay, that's a fair amount of damage. That's a respectable amount. Alright, climb, 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 jump. Looks like they've all taken roughly equivalent amounts of damage. I think they're dead. No, okay. That one's still up. And I'm badly hurt. Luckily, I really stocked up on hearts. Oh! What? Where? 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 Oh! Holy hell! Okay, okay. Uh, there's, there, there's a Phantom Ganon. Jeez! Alright, fair enough. Gotta do a charge. Damn. Trying to get a flurry rush off. Guy is not making it easy. Damn it. Alright, fine. Then we'll really double up on the hearts. Okay, here we go. Damn it. Well, my timing is getting better, but still not enough to beat him. Alright, Soldier Blade. Let's do this. Alright! How about my strongest weapon plus my attack up gear? How does that sound? You are a jerk. Alright. Fair enough. But I got plenty of food to outlast you. There we go! Flurry time! Oh yeah, look at those hits. Go ahead, try your charge. Okay, well, I did ask you to try your charge. My timing is so terrible with this. Uh, Mifa, or sorry, Riju. More healing. 
I still don't really need to play this too cautiously. There we go! I think one of my problems with Fury Rushes is that I actually tend to do them very late. You know, or early. Come on, you. I dare you. This is going to nearly kill him. And that is how you kill a Phantom Ganon. And I probably also just saved the Deku Tree. Today, I'm going dragon hunting. Zelda is waiting for me. And I am getting that Master Sword. You did it! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The Great Deku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Oh, right. I didn't actually take his picture. The Demon King's Bow. Ooh, and a Gloom Sword. What are these? Oh, those are just dark clumps. No, redo. <laughs> The higher your maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. Uh, that sword has a base damage of a lot. I uh, really don't need this flame club. I have other ways to make fire. Well then... Back to the Great Deku Tree. I guessed that he was probably going to know something about what happened all those years ago. Oh, hey! Hestu moved here! Hey! Do I have enough seeds for weapons? Nope, not for weapon. What about for bow? Okay, how about for shield? Uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll take a shield slot. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I have 14,000 rupees. Uh, okay, Deku Tree. Um. Do, do you want to talk, or... Wait, where, where, where do I need to stand to talk to you? I, I feel like you're gonna know some stuff I might need to know. Hello. Hmm. So it is you. Hmm. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy, as though I am wakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. Hmm. It has been some time since last we spoke. Have you been well? Mm, yes, the last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. Oh, did we come here before we started our journey? It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule. Aww. And Link, Keeper 
of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. Trailer shot. Great Deku Tree. Thank you so much. Ha, ha, ha. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself. No matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. Oh? The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. So that's how Zelda knew what to do. Sword that grows ever stronger. And that's why the Master Sword is always just sealed away in places. Interesting. I sure hope no Pope Helia knew what she was doing when she made that thing. But the sword. It would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? Okay. Funny story. Zelda turned herself into a dragon, and the sword is currently stuck in her head. Yeah. What is this, then? We do not know where the Master Sword is. I mean, I know where it is. I don't know the dragon's exact location at this time, but it's somewhere in Hyrule. I see. Yet, I can sense it even now. There can be no mistake. Oh? It's here. It is? In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? Hey! That lake is shaped like a lizard! Sorry, that's cute. The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword. But you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. Really? Am I just able to detect the sword now? Uh... Yeah, we'll set recovering the sword to the tracking. And then... That is so cool. That's actually working. There's one more thing I need to check, though. You can get scales, claws, fangs, and horns, and I guess now spikes, off of all of the other dragons in Hyrule. I need to know if the same is true... for the light dragon. Let's see. So it's going to be... S 
somewhere over this way. Oh no, that's a giant chasm in the middle of Death Mountain, isn't it? I never actually put two and two together. That's the dragon right there. Um... I'm definitely not going to have enough stamina to reach it. That is unfortunate. Um... I might be able to make it to a high enough point on the mountain, though, that I can jump off and actually do something useful with the height. Why are you here? Yep, yeah, that's the dragon, all right. It's okay. I don't need to be precise. I just want to get close enough to shoot it to see if it also has materials. Don't worry. I will definitely pull out the Master Sword before this episode is done. But for right now, this is about curiosity. Okay. So it does drop pieces. And, oh god, it's going to fall off that cliff, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. Mysterious power that heals when attached to a weapon. Okay, so she does have parts to get. That is good to know. I'm going to do a cut here because I need to knock out uh, a few other tasks. But when I come back, I am grabbing that Master Sword. I'm back. And, of course, of course, there's a blood moon. Oh, my God. I'd pull it out. I'd, I'd grab the sword right now, but I'm genuinely worried that like, the blood moon cutscene might kick me off the dragon. Well, all right. Screw it, then. If I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Oh. So you actually can get materials off of uh, off of this dragon too. Uh, I actually made sure to get one of each because I have concerns that it might not be as easy or perhaps even possible to access this dragon after I do this. So, I do have the horn. I do have the spikes. I have the scale. I have the talon. And I have the fang. So, I do have one of each. Just in case they are necessary for something. Ugh, screw the blood moon. I am so stupidly powerful right now. Like, I, 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 I just love it. Yeah, no additional materials coming off of her. So, apparently you can get a material off of a dragon every ten minutes. And because you can stand on the dragons now, it actually makes farming materials for them pretty damn easy if you're just willing to, you know, put your switch to the side and set an alarm. 
Uh, I imagine with the other three dragons, it's probably a little tougher. Uh, simply because I know that sometimes they go underground. So you would need to keep an eye on things just to make sure you don't the fall glow, off. The blood -stained moon yeah, upon the land. yeah I, I know how it works. Okay, is it going to kick me off of the dragon because I triggered a cutscene? No, okay, it's still good. It's time. Let's Shadow of the Colossus this thing! Get it, Link. Get it! I have waited so long to get this weapon back. You turned yourself into a dragon. A sacred dragon of light. This sword has been bathing in radiant divine magic for God only knows how many millennia! Yes! Yes! <gasps> At last! The Master Sword is finally back where it belongs. Ooh, I appear to be having a vision. Oh, no, we're just lying very high next to the sun. Do it, Link. <sighs> it's beautiful. I believe I just got a weapon that will never break again. Link. But it'll probably run out of power if you use it too much. Link. Same way it did with Breath of the Wild. The Master Sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before. A long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King... You will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. God. I pray. Reaches you in the future. <sighs> so, what happens to the dragon now? Does it just keep flying around sunny skies forever? Because it was midnight when I pulled that sword. Okay, no, it's just going to drop me off. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. 
The blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the demon king. So... Can I fuse things with it? Like, say, a Gibdo bow. Okay, now there's a Gibdo bone on the Master Sword. It doesn't actually list any attack value. Uh, just want to make sure... Okay, I am in my full glide armor. I've got to go find something to fight. Surely there's something not far I can fight. Thank you. Um... You know, I can actually think of a great place to fight. Uh, the bridge leading up to uh, Akala Citadel. The bridge is guarded by a pack of monsters that have a unity health bar. So, surely there will be some kind of a ward if I take them all out. My hearts are filled fire beam from the sword with R. The more heart containers you have, the farther the beams range. Okay. I like that. So, how far are we talking? I mean, that's pretty far. Sure, I'll take a pine cone. Yes, yes, you detect the shrine. I'm not worried about that right now. So it should be just on the other side of that cliff. Oh, here we go. Here's some buddies. They all want to be friends, right? Oh. Hello. Alright, so that was one of my first theories about how the sword might work, is that maybe you could fuse anything to it, but when the thing you fused broke, the sword would have to recharge. That doesn't seem to be the case, so... Let's just put a soldier horn on it. Let's see just how much use I can get out of this. Hello! Jeez! Okay, well, obviously that's a bigger problem. Uh, I don't like you, Electric Key Cyball. There, problem solved. Hello! Thanks for the gnarled long stick. Anyway, I am going to take a picture of the gnarled long stick. And an Aracuta eyeball. And a blue Lizalfos horn. Okay. No. I'm done with you being a pain in my ass. Surprise! That's a Lizal bow. That's a Lizalfo's horn. Ooh, 
that's that's a good uh, that's a good bit of fruit. I really am curious how much I can use this master sword. In Breath of the Wild, the Master Sword would never break, but if you used it enough, it would have to recharge. It, it would have a cooldown before you could, you know, pull it out again. Of course it's raining. Really, man? I've died a few times fighting these folks on the bridge. Alright, let's move up. Okay, there we go, that's one down. Oh, hey, you're gonna throw him! Thank you! That is so polite. No. No. Freaking hell. Okay, uh, healing, please, thank you. Come on. Nope! Oh, that's beautiful. Okay! Well, that's most of their forces down. Hello! No. And one moblin. Still no message that the Master Sword is, you know, weakened or nearly breaking. Nothing like that so far. And I even managed to defeat the entire Monster Horde, so... That's just a bonus. Black Moblin Horns... With a power of 24... And it stopped raining! Those I have pictures of. Pictures of that. Okay, I think I'm good to just run around and grab all the materials. Mobbling guts. Surprised I've never picked up one of those. Uh, I was... Oh my god, I've been looking everywhere for this guy! Hello! You trade treasure for bubble gems. Don't worry, I'm going to give you many, many bubble gems. So, what kind of treasures do you have? Yeah... Gobbling down many at once. Please bring me the quantity I asked for. Okay. Yes. How many do you need? Okay, you'll give me two. Two for the Moblin... Two bubble gems for the Moblin mask. That's fair. I have nine more if you just want to take them all at once. Don't worry, dude. I got more. It's not a problem. Except Oh, thank God he didn't he didn't uh leave. Ever since I ate that first bubble gym, I've been able to sense the presence of bubble frogs. Or though not all of them. For you I can put my bullfrog feelers to work and seek out places they're likely to be found. 
Okay, let's trade. The Hinox toenail might be of interest. I'll give you three of them for two bubble gems. That is fine by me. Yep, that's good. So, what do you have on offer next? <gasps> Ooh, what is this? A mystic robe. Oh, this is a cool piece. Is this like what wiz robes wear? No, I don't... Maybe. I don't think so, though. It protects the wearer, allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit. Holy hell, that could be ridiculously powerful. Okay, so what's next on offer? Okay, eyeballs. Uh, eight of them for three gems. Deal. Yes. Thank you for the eyeballs. What do you have next? Ooh. A, oh, a Lizalfos mask. Okay. Since any frogs. Okay. So he can give you a general direction. Side on. Thank you. No. Nice arm. This game is so pretty. It just... Just everything about it is so wonderful. Can I hunt horses for meat? Well, either I can't or I missed. And it was only immediately after firing that arrow that I suddenly thought to myself, wouldn't that maybe piss off the horse god? And I thought, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't piss off gods. That's a lot of keys. Very well, then. Oh, Keith. Come and get me. Let's try again. Holy hell. That's a lot of material. Uh, let's do that again, if they're still here. Oh, uh, no, they, they left. Damn. I'm gonna catch it. It's, look, I know I'm losing sight of it, but I, these things are like 500 meters long. I'm gonna catch it. Come on, you little jerk. I'm going to find you. And I am going to take your horn. Come on, you. Oh, God. This is going to be so weird. Right. Okay. It's got cold. Ruby Rod activated to try and beat that. Just need... Okay. Wait for it. Okay, it fell... 
right over there. I love having immunity from fall damage. Now, is there a light route somewhere? Okay, there's a light route right over there. And there is the Taka Root Light Root. A little more light in the depths. And I think that is all I'm going to do for today. And I will see you all on the next one.